okay friends today we will come with a very interesting topic you know just uh, uh, the last lecture whatever i just showed you how you are actually accessing our um, uh, landsat explorer or sentinel explorer data sets okay so now here we will going to discuss a very interesting topic like in arcgis pro when you are bringing those kind of data okay so exactly with the date wise how we will going to access those data sets okay and how can you will imply, imply the the templates this, the predefined templates with the different models how we will going to use those kind of data sets okay so see here i i just uh, created already a practice sites or i can make one more practice one okay suppose test to one new project i just opening and <coughs> i can give this project name inside this practice test 2 okay so just i am uh, just giving test 2 name or test uh, 3 you can give no problem okay so let's start with the the topic okay so first thing is whenever you are going to accessing a data from our sentinel website or web browsers na? so what the thing you have to do that is you have to do the login okay so you have your arcgis uh, login credentials okay or your server portal credentials so you just log in with that and now here you can see suppose i want to search for my locations okay the satellite image where i want so exactly how we're going to search so here you have this option see in the map you have this locate option tools okay so suppose in the locate options uh, i just simply type uh, like garfa garfa okay so garfa police station it's near to my home okay so simply i am just typing this garfa police station so see here it is automatically taking this particular location okay so suppose this is the area okay so this is the area which is my uh, location so you see here it's a past of uh, means it's a part of uh, east kolkata wetland okay so earlier this is the part so now uh, so many wetlands is converted as a uh, built up so anyway i just want to show you how you are identifying this um, in in the sentinel image if you want to uh, take in from our site account means uh, date wise how can we going to access inside arcgis pro so see for this uh, we have to go to our catalog panel and uh, whatever the favorite uh, sorry portals options you have to uh, go and under this we have this living atlas so i already discussed about our living atlas platform it's a very strong platform so from there you can get all the data sets suppose i am going to access the sentinel data sets okay simply type c n t i l i already shown you in last month my last lecture but still i am just showing you now the extra part which will be how we are going to access as a date wise so i am not taking the level 2 so simple the level 1 data sets i am just adding with my dates ok so simply you can click on this add to the current map so what it will do it will take the full world data sets ok and it will open in your map see here uh, similar kind of things ok so it will take few minutes time and it will come so now if you want to go back to that locations if you just search so simply you can type it here so automatically it will take you to that particular locations where it is actually belonging from it will take few minutes time to clear okay so after that uh, your data sets will come in very clearly it is depends on your internet connectivity how it is actually there okay so now the question is how i'm going to search a data for a particular date wise so see here we have uh, this particular dates okay so now it is actually taking time accordingly my uh, internet speeds so i'm just going a little down so may it will so my study area which i want to focus my display expand extent should be like this okay so it will cover most of the part of the wetland which was earlier in this particular location okay so now uh, if i want some data some two days data sets so whatever the available data sets will be there so that i can search so if you go see here once you selected this this data tab will appear automatically okay so you have to go to this data tab now and uh, here if you want to <coughs> explore this particular this raster explore item okay so that you have to click or uh, you can see here it will take few minutes time okay and uh, under the select options okay so you will get uh, the searching that part like means uh, the date exact date or times whatever you want okay so accordingly you can select everything here 
that is the beauty of this uh, particular uh, things. So, you see here it will take see still it is uploading. So, once it will this upload will done. So, you will get uh, this information ok. So, let us see let us see how it is coming. So, once it will coming. So, there you have to select a different kind of uh, fields. So, related to this particular satellite image. So, those fields are just see here you have this area of interest. So, for this basically I am just uh, going to focus over this particular ok. So, like display extent. So, my my target area should be not the all area. So, this display extent I, I want to focus on this particular place ok. So, accordingly whatever the satellite scene which is falling inside this particular place. So, that scene will automatically selected ok. So, maybe that will be half also means um, uh, that particular scene if half portion of this uh, area will come. So, that it will come. So, you have to check some other dates which will actually following this full uh, scene data sets ok. So, that you have to select accordingly ok. So, now the display extent I already did. So, exclude the overviews. So, others I do not need. So, that is why I am just exclude it. Now, I am just selecting here the fields. So, once you select the fields you will get options for the dates. So, where you will get the dates. So, see here here it is showing the object ID. Na. So, here you have to change ok and you have to select uh, acquisition date ok. So, case of this. So, now there is a uh, one more things which is uh, selecting automatically that is the the present uh, oldest date data which is available for this particular locations. Okay, so, that is automatically selected here ok. So, you uh, this is uh, based on your location to location because for my this particular locations where I am staying I, I, I got uh, maximum one year old data sets for this ok. Maybe some other spaces I can get uh, 10 to 15 years old data ok. But as of now the updations whatever I found for this particular location. So, that will be uh, uh, the oldest date will be the 24th uh, 1st January 2021 for that is quite good means I am I'm, I'm just uh, means uh, suppose my focus will be <coughs> some particular cyclone incident ok uh, which is happened in the 2021. So, if I want to focus that and what is the condition now. So, that uh, for that I, I can select uh, date accordingly like this ok. But anyway I am not uh, going to show you any kind of uh, flood base analysis now that uh, may be in coming lecture I will show you from this data <laughs> over some particular cyclone dates I, I will I will take it out and I will try to show you the change directions ok using the ArcGIS Pro how we going to do that. But now uh, I already did <coughs> that kind of lecture before also <coughs> you can check my video earlier videos. But using these templates I never showed you. So, if you request me then definitely I can show you over this template uh, how, how can you will going to show this kind of uh, pre and post cyclone effect ok. So, this is the first date and if you want to take <coughs> the present date either you can go to this list or else you can make sure this calendar is selected and select like the today's date. So, see here automatically this today's dates will selected ok and now you can simply click on apply to search the particular dates where you can save your data and see here the list of dates will come. So, this is the suppose the oldest date which is coming in the top and if you want to add it with this uh, particular uh, data ok. So, simply select this and click on add to the current map ok. So, just see I just selected it and add to the current map <coughs> and accordingly this dates ok. So, my data is coming and attaching with this particular scene ok. So, that is the way how we are actually adding the data ok. So, with uh, this particular scene if I want to add. So, this is the oldest data sets which I found. So, uh, just check it uh, this data sets is coming or not. So, see here this is now attached with this particular dates ok. So, this is the first date scene. So, if you want to see the dates ok. So, this will be uh, this will be the January 2021 ok. So, you can make the name change to identifying this particular <coughs> satellite image. Suppose, I am just giving name as a Jan 2021 ok. Simply click on ok. So, see here you can identifying this particular scenes by this name 
okay now now you want to go the recent time date so what you have to do so you just simply click on this descending orders okay and you can see here this is the uh, the recent dates means this is a 20th 20th march data okay so if you want to uh, check it will be there falling uh, in this particular location or not or you want to check this data sets okay suppose i am taking this one uh, 15 march data sets okay let's see okay so which one is falling under this particular location okay so simply click on this okay and then click the plus sign so let's see how uh, this data sets is my study area is is falling in this particular location also or not okay so both uh, that scene should come inside this okay so now you have to check okay so how we're going to check so please put off this down one so you can see this map is also came so you just see here now this is the this is the date of this one okay so what is the date okay so it will be march 2022 so it's a recent date so you can go to the property okay and you can change the name accordingly like this will be the march okay so underscore search march 2022 okay so that i just give as a name okay so that i can identify in this march and simply click on okay and see here this name also now supported now now the question is if i want to comparing these two dates using the false color composite so you can use the predefined processing templates which i just showing you in the website which is available so that is the most wonderful thing inside the arcgis pro so see here this march if you have whatever the scenes you have to do so you have to select that particular scene first okay and go to this processing okay and there you have uh, options to color di so what is this the band here infrared red and green with the dynamic range of adjustment is already done so healthy vegetation is brighter healthy vegetation is brighter in red while stress vegetation is color red okay so you can identify your location uh, vegetation health condition also using this type this technology okay so simply click on that okay and see within a minute or not a minute within a seconds so it will be converted in a false color composite and uh, you can do the analysis over it okay so, so this is your data sets are ready so this is for the first part this is the second one this is a january 21st one year old data sets so select that go to the processing templates okay and then again click the color infrared DRA and see your locations data will ready to process okay so simply you can go on this particular uh, time and you can see this is the old one and this one if you want to if you want to see the changes simply take it the swipes and you can make the swipe the changes also okay like this one i selected now so select this one now you can click this swiping and you can see this is see this is the stadium you can see one year back uh, you just see here old one so this is the 21 image this uh, stadium was now that time was a building up so that's why see this red one uh, like uh, it is little dull okay so now it was very uh, very much red okay so that is the difference thank you so i hope uh, you like uh, this uh, uh, this uh, demo okay so i hope you please share with the others okay thank you thank you very much and uh, please like and share my channel thank you